So we come to the next day in this story of the greatest victory. So what's happened so far? Well, Jesus entered into Jerusalem, victorious. They all celebrated, thinking this is the moment, this is the man who's going to lead us to victory, who's going to be a great political ruler. But as we see, things are starting to turn. Dare one say it, the tide has turned. Yesterday, we thought about how he entered into the temple courts, upturned the tables that were around him, said, why have you turned my father's house into a den of robbers? Clearly, he was unhappy. We see Jesus showing those moments of anger. What's going to happen today? Well, some people aren't very pleased with him. Some people are looking for a way to get rid of him. They're already planning how they can do that. They begin to challenge his authority today. They don't like a lot of his teaching. It makes them uncomfortable. And therefore, they want to challenge him. They don't want him to take away their status. Many people start to become less happy with him, concerned about what he's trying to do. The source of victory they had in mind doesn't appear to be what Jesus is here for. Not only that, they need to find a way to get rid of him and they need somebody to betray him. And after all, the right person to betray him might be someone who's in his inner circle. Jesus entered the temple courts. People questioned his authority. Jesus challenges the dearest leaders. He answered them in parables. They continued to question him. Questions about taxes. Questions about the resurrection. Questions about the great commandment. Jesus spoke on the Mount of Olives. Warning about the destruction of the temple. And the end times. Then Satan entered Judas called Iscariot one of the twelve. And Judas went to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and discussed with them how he might betray Jesus. They were delighted and agreed to give him money. He consented and watched for an opportunity to hand Jesus over to them when no crowd was present. They've challenged his authority. They don't like some of the answers that he's come up with and so they need someone to betray him and they go to Judas, one of the disciples, one of Jesus' close friends, one who was close to him. They decide on Judas and Judas is willing, exactly as the prophet said. They agreed to give him money, 30 pieces of silver, so that he would betray Jesus. As we see things taking shape here, we see their desire to get rid of him. They don't like his teaching and they're finding out a way they can do so. We can see their plan beginning to unfold. And on Thursday, we'll look at Jesus coming into the Last Supper, the times that he spent with his disciples and what would happen, how they would look to get rid of him.